So in order to answer this question, we have to truly understand what menopause is. We're talking about failing ovulation. Hormonal activity starts to wane. Intervals between periods are getting a lot longer. Not to mention the high flushes, the weight gain. Some people even get depression. But all in all, it's hormonal. Oestrogen is one of the biggest factors when it comes down to menopause and all of the effects that happen to the body. So I want you to look into what's called Agnes Castus. It's a um, herb. It's an ovarian hormone precursor. Then I want you to start looking at motherwort, nettles, things like that. Focus on foods that's high in vitamin C. Focus on mornings that's high in vitamin E. And we can't forget vitamin B, like vitamin B complex, but specifically B6. But ultimately, um, I would say get you some castor oil. And not only do you apply it to your hair, but you can rub it in your thyroid area every single day and start getting like compresses. You can go on Amazon, I believe they have like the full body suit compresses, but you really want to get it more so in this area. And this will help you out tremendously. But all in all, being that this is a normal part of life, that doesn't mean that we can't combat it. And that doesn't mean that we can't refortify ourselves to get through the process in a healthy manner. A lot of my clients that's over the age of 60, they also suffer with these things. We have also been taking time over the years to make sure that they get the right nutrients in their body. They're eating the proper diets and they're also alleviating all of these symptoms from their bodies. So if it's possible for them, it's possible for you. But this brings me to a particular book inside of the Bible. Isaiah 40 verses 29 through 31. Let's read it. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So once you tie all of the dietary and herbal properties that I told you about and couple that with your foundation being rooted in Christ, nothing can stop you. We have to understand that the God we serve is stronger than everything that's on this planet. Every illness, every infirmity, and every moment of weakness. He is our rock. He is our firm foundation. And he's always there for those who trust and seek him earnestly. But I hope this helped y'all, friend. God bless you. Have a good one.